I have been wanting to learn how uh, how to code in Java for quite some time now, so I decided to download IntelliJ IDEA. So uh, this is where I actually got Intelligent IDEA. So we have here um, uh, JetBrains slash IDEA, the downloads, then we have your section windows. So basically, um, IntelliJ was developed by JetBrains, and um, I downloaded uh, the Community Edition, this one. Okay. So there's only two editions or two versions of uh, IntelliJ IDEA. The first one is Ultimate and the other one is Community. Um, main difference between the two, of course, is uh, for Ultimate, we have a thir free 30-day trial. Whereas for Community, we have uh, it's open source, so it's free for life. Although um, Community has very has a much more limited uh, edition. Uh, limit, uh, community has a very, uh, much more limited features. But it's more than enough for what I need. Okay, so these are the different um, features found on uh, the Community Edition. So we, have, we can only code in Java, Kotlin, Groovy, Scala, and so on. Okay, it doesn't have any other advanced tools such as Profiling, um, Enterprise, uh, Jakarta Enterprise Edition, Java, EE, HTTP Client, and so on. Okay, so this is actually... Uh, the main window of our um, IntelliJ. Okay, so let's try to create a new project. So we can actually uh, double click here or let's try to click this button, new project. Okay, so here the new project dialog box will appear. So we have your Java. Okay, since basically we'll just be learning how to use Java. Let's just like to select Java, but you can also code in Android if you wanted to, which uh, maybe I'll be showing you uh, one of these days. So it's either we use IntelliJ or we can use um, Android Studio. Okay, so I'll be showing you also how to code in those two uh, languages, uh, in those two uh, IDE. But for the meantime, let's just try to code or let's just try to learn how to use uh, IntelliJ. Okay, so uh, we don't need to specify the libraries or frameworks. Let's just try to click next. Okay, let's have this one check. Create project from template. And we have here um, command line app. So this is basically a command line app. Um, which means that we will be running it via the terminal. Okay, let's also try to click next. Now, um, let's try to specify our project name, which is called java underscore zero one. Okay. Now, um, okay. uh, let's try to specify also our project location by clicking this button or by pressing shift plus enter. Okay, so we have your lessons, then we have your Java. Okay, this is that's where we're going to place all of our folder, uh, all of our uh, project. Okay, let's just like to click OK. So it's basically located this time in Java folder. So Java underscore 01 will be created in java in our java folder okay let's try to click finish okay so currently it's applying template okay reopening files okay let's try to click select the same our project okay, let's try to open our project files okay so this is our project files so let's try to um expand view the source and we have our main so basically this is our main uh java okay okay so as what i've said we'll just be uh, learning how to use uh, um, intellij but let's also try to code a little bit about java let's just try to make a simple hello world in java so you have system dot out dot print line okay let's try to make it um hello world okay comma my first java just to call this one project okay now let's just try to I, I would assume that uh, you have already set up your um java development kit but uh, if you're going to download intellij and you still have it um set up your uh, jdk or java development kit uh you'll be prompted by uh intellij and it will be um, placed uh, on the on your uh, program files. Otherwise, it will be placed on your in, in its default location. But normally, the default location, if, especially if you're dealing with Windows, is uh, under um, program program files. Okay. 
So let's try to run it this time. Okay. I'm going to click run. So this like to be the terminal. Okay, we have here hello world. My first Java project. So we have our prompt. Okay, we have our message. Okay. We can also uh, add the files on our git which I'll be doing it later. Uh, uh, otherwise it's okay already. Okay. So that's how you would normally create a project and run your if you find the contents of this blog useful or interesting, don't hesitate to hit the subscribe button. And if you want it to be notified every time a new video is uploaded, don't forget to hit the bell notification button. Thanks.